Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is going to be a weekly reading for my fire signs. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for supporting me and for being there for me from the people in my daily life to the people on my Instagram. You guys are super, super supportive and I would like to thank you all for pushing me to make this YouTube channel because I don't even know if I would ever have gotten around to it, but now I'm here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, four different videos for this week and I'm going to do them separated by the elements. So this will be the fire signs. So we're going to do our Aries, my Leos, and my Sagittariuses for this one. And this is going to be a general reading. But if I do feel guided to read it as love, I will. It just depends on what comes out. Now just remember that not all of our messages will resonate here. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You can also check your um, moon sign. I know most like mostly people focus on their sun sign, but you can always check your moon sign too. Your moon sign is just as important. So let's see what messages we have here for my Aries. What messages do we have here for my Aries? I'm going to pick you an angel card first just to see what angel is with you for this week. Okay. And Aries. <clears throat> we have the Angel of Balance. So your angel wants you to start balancing everything in your life this week. From school, from work, from home, from your health, from everything. From your money, from the games you're playing, all of that stuff. Find balance. Your angel of balance is here to help you find the balance that is needed within, externally, even in your relationships, even just to your neighbor. Balance is strongly highlighted here this week for you. Let's see what other messages we have here for my Aries. What other messages do we have here from my Aries? What are they balancing this week? All right, Aries, let's see what you're balancing. Very nice. We have clarity of belief. This would be the Ace of Swords. So it looks like you got some communication coming in, some type of truth coming in. And then we have Heal. Beautiful. This would be the Star card in the regular tarot. And your last card here is your Solar Plexus Chakra. All right. So what I see here is that I feel as though you are working on finding balance in your mental body. You may feel as though your thoughts have been a little bit overtaking. You may feel as though you haven't had a lot of control over your thoughts. And I feel as though the energy coming in from you is going to be giving you great healing to this mental body. I feel as though you are either going to hear some, either you will hear from someone this week that will bring you great healing. I don't know why this light is like this. Or... For others of you, you are finding this healing within your mental body, especially with this solar plexus chakra coming out here. You're finding this healing within. You're actually getting it straight from the universe. You are getting it. And um, with your solar plexus chakra coming out, this mantra is I can. So I feel as though this week you will be more or less working on the fact that you can overcome your thoughts and you can heal yourself within and you can find balance you can find the balance that is needed and i feel like you will and you are getting straight from source this healing you are getting i feel like you've been wishing for mental stability that's what i see here and i feel as though you're gonna get it this week you're gonna you're gonna get a glimpse of what you're capable of this week and it's just gonna change everything. All right, what other messages do we have here for my Aries? What other messages do we have here for my Aries? What other messages do we have here for my Aries? All right, Aries, let's see. Thank you, spirit. All right, Aries, 
<clears throat> there we go. Under the clarity of belief, the three of swords. That's what I figured already. And under, under heel, we have the sun. Couldn't get any better, can we? The star and the sun. Solar plexus, the five of pentacles. You're done feeling sorry for yourself. I feel as though you feel like sorry for yourself so often that it takes over your mind. I feel as though you've been self-inflicting hurt onto your mental body. And I feel like you're getting some type of truth. You're getting some type of victory over this hurt. You're getting blessed twice here. Actually, three times with that Ace of Swords. With the sun and the star, you are healing times two. Your mental body is finding the balance it never knew of. I feel like your solar plexus is pushing you to overcome this feeling of sorrow, this feeling of feeling bad for yourself, this feeling of feeling that like everyone's going to leave you out. I feel as though you're getting the power this week to overcome this five of pentacles feeling. The five of pentacles is, you know, feeling left out, being left out, feeling financially in despair. I feel as though you've been dwelling on this for so long that you're finally finding victory over this hurt. Especially with the sun and heel, you are in for some star power healing this week straight from the universe blessed so it looks like a pretty blessed week for you aries happy birthday looks pretty amazing and we're gonna move on to my leos hello my leos let's see what angel is with my leos for this week of april 15th to April 22nd. What angel is with my Leo's? What angel is at my Leo's side? Let's see. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, the angel that is here to help you this week is the angel of gratitude number 13. Wonderful, wonderful card. So I feel like you're being a little grateful this week. You may be, you know, just sitting down and realizing all that you have. And you're just like, wow, spirit really is trying to help me. I feel like you may have in the past felt, why is nothing working out for me? And you're at a point right now where you're just like, wow, let me stop. Let me look at what spirit really has done for me. And I feel like you will be having a sense of gratitude as this week progresses. Maybe you will be receiving some stuff this week that will in turn push you into this feeling of gratitude. What messages do we have here for my Leos for the week of April 15th to April 22nd? What messages do we have here? For my Leos, April 15th to April 22nd. What messages do we have here for my Leos? All right, Leo, nurture. This is the Empress, card three, wonderful. Looks like we'll be nurturing ourselves this week. Win or lose, this is the Five of Swords. And Helpless and Hopeless, this is the Eight of Swords. I feel like whatever I just said with that Angel card was the message for these cards that just came out. So back to what I said before. I feel as though you've been putting the work into yourself and you're just like, Spirit, where is my reward or where is my 
you know, sometimes when you put so much work into yourself and you really, really try and you're like, okay, well, now what? I feel as though you have been putting the work into yourself and you kind of are feeling a little bit defeated. Like, well, when do I get my, my break? When do I get it? When do I get that feeling of being grateful? And it's coming, especially with that angel. You need to kind of get out of this mental body of feeling like it's taking too long or uh, it's I just feel not that you're impatient but I feel like you've done so much work and you've done so much inner work now your mind is starting to try to talk yourself out of the nurturing like kind of like oh well we're nurturing ourselves but we're not getting anything so like let's just stop do not let your mind take over here Leo all right let's see what other messages do we have for my Leos here Keep nurturing. Your feeling of gratitude is coming. You have to feel grateful through something this week. And it's coming here. I'm telling you, keep nurturing. Right under that nurture, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Luck will spin in your favor. The wheel is going to spin in your favor. It's like I knew it was going to come out before the cards even came out. There we go. Win or lose with the Two of Pentacles. You are like, well, do I keep going? Do I keep nurturing? Or do I just... Whatever. I'm not getting anything from Spirit. I don't even think they're recognizing that I'm putting the work in. Do I drop the ball? Do I keep doing it? Keep doing it. You have that wheel right there coming in for you and... Here it comes, that celebration coming in, that feeling of gratitude right under helpless and hopeless. You go from feeling like you don't know what else to do to like, ah, but I've done enough. Universe was just making me be a little patient. Sometimes our biggest lesson is to have patience. And I feel as though like spirit is trying to tell you, you know, you've been nurturing, you've been putting the work in. Just, just be patient. We're coming. And that's 110% they're on their way. And you're going to feel like this girl right here. You're going to feel grateful. You're going to feel abundant. Because that wheel is spinning in this empress's favor. Do not let your mental body get you down. Because you have great, great great celebration coming and you have great luck coming your way I just feel as though you just feel like it's not coming fast enough I feel like you've been putting in so much work into yourself Leo and you're just like when do I get just a little something from spirit you're getting a lot of something this week a lot of something so Congratulations, Leo. It looks like your nurturing has paid off. Just keep this in mind that you are the Empress. That's what Spirit wants to remind you of as well. You never not become the Empress. All right, and last but not least, my Sagittarius is what... Do we have for my Sagittarius's? What angel is going to be by my Sagittarius's side? What angel is walking with my Sagittarius this week? For April 15th to April 22nd. What angel is walking with my Sagittarius's? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, there's Spirit. And there's spirit. There's your angel card. The angel of grounding, card number fourteen. Okay, Sagittarius's. So, your angel of grounding means you might feel as if you are a little bit feeling flighty. Like, oh, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Get me out of here. I don't want to deal with this person anymore. I don't want to do this work anymore. I just want to, 
I just want to go. I just want to do it. You might feel like you just have no control over your thoughts. Your thoughts are going all over the place. Everything is up and down. You don't know when is when and what is what. Your days are probably feeling a bit mixed up. You are getting a super, super blessed angel coming your way this week that is going to help you ground into reality and really be able to see things a lot more clearly than you have been. So you may feel a little bit fogged. You may have been field, felt a little bit fogged in your thoughts or just in like your everyday life. You may have felt that why is everything feeling so unclear to me? Why do I feel so not in reality in a way? Let's see. Why are my Sagittarius is not feeling grounded? Well, you're getting grounded, so that's nice. Let's see what messages are coming out here from my Sagittarius's. What messages do we have here for my Sagittarius's? All right. And your first card coming out is your third eye chakra. Very nice. My Saggies are feeling psychic this week. Opportunity beckons. That's the Four of Cups. And we have Feeling Alone. That's the Five of Pentacles. So I feel as if here you have some sort of intuitive feeling that you're going to be rejected or you have some intuitive feeling that you're going to be consistently left out from something. It could be a job. It could be an emotional type of relationship. But I feel like you have this intuitive feeling that you're just going to be left out and rejected. And I, I feel as though this is not true. And that's why your angel of grounding is coming in here to ground you and be like, I don't know why you think this is going to happen when it's not. We're going to see what comes out here. What other messages do we have for my Sagittarius? you spirit okay Sagittarius yep there we go the seven of Pentacles opportunity beckons with the three of cups underneath feeling alone with the two of Pentacles all right my fire people kind of have the same thing happening here so what I see here is that you have this intuitive feeling that I'm sorry, it may be off. You may have some intuitive feeling that you're waiting for something to happen, but it's not happening. Like, I feel like you think something horrible is coming for you, but it's not. I feel as if you feel like you will get rejected and left out, but you aren't. I think your emotions and your, uh, you are not grounded in reality. I see that strongly, especially since your angel of grounding is coming out and your third eye chakra being here with the seven of pentacles. It's like you have some intuitive feeling that you are so impatient over. But your intuition may not be as spot on as you thought because you feel as though you're going to get rejected and left out. You have here the two of pentacles. So it's a, as if this feeling of feeling alone is within you. You're kind of like, all right, some days I feel like I'm going to get left out and other days I don't. Because you have the three of cups here as well with the four of cups. So some days you don't, some days you do. I feel as though you are putting too much emphasis on the fact of being a part of something when you need to put more emphasis on just grounding your being in general. 
I know Sagittarius people are like the adventurers. They are the the archer. Like they want to do something. So this quarantine might have you feeling all types of ways. And you're just waiting for something to happen. Like I want to do something. I want to go out. I want to be free. I want to do anything but sit in my house. And I feel as though your angel of grounding is coming in for you. Saying, you know, that's all fine and dandy that you want to explore. But this is your moment of grounding. And this is your moment of being still. And I feel as though this week you're going to understand that more. And the more still and grounded you feel with this angel with you, the more you won't feel like you're waiting for something to come. Or you more you won't feel like you're alone or like not maybe with a lot more people that you usually were with. But I feel as though for your general summary of this is you just have to embrace what's around you right now and what is happening to everybody because it's not just happening to you. The quarantine is not only restricting you, it's restricting everybody. And I just feel like the Saggies are getting a little bit impatient with it. And in turn, it's kind of throwing you off a little bit. Just making you like, well, I'm bored. I don't want to do this anymore. Stuff like that. So, you know, just ground in your energy. You see how this girl is literally just sitting here on this rock in a meditative position alone. This angel will come in this week and help you navigate through all of this energy that you've been feeling. So... Sagittarians, happy grounding this week. You may feel as though you need it. And I hope this video has brought you guys guidance. And I hope everyone has a fantastic week. And I look forward to hearing from you again. If you want to book a reading with me, you can add me on Instagram, Miss Machiste, M I S S M A C H I S. -S T E. Um, it's actually the same name as my YouTube, but it's all one word. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. Bye.